Three months ago, I made a video proving that Wartox is objectively a bad character. However, after a sea of unintelligent comments defending Wartox, I have decided to make a follow-up to prove that Wartox is objectively a bad character. What makes Wartox a bad character is his lack of two important traits, speed and DPS, which are both extremely important for quick progression. Most bad Wartox players would say his soul teleport allows him to be faster, however this is objectively not true. This is because the time it takes to gather the souls outweighs the time you save from teleporting, even when using the soul echo. You can see this in the fair speed test below where Wilson outran Wartox by about 2 seconds. In my last video, a few bad Wartox players argued that Wartox spawns in with 6 souls, so we shouldn't have to gather them in the beginning of the speed test. However, souls are not a permanent upgrade in the same way a walking cane is, so this argument is invalid. One could argue that his long distance teleport would be faster, however this ability is actually counterproductive. This is because Don't Starve is a game of multitasking, so while you are running, you should be collecting resources along the way. So, if you use the long distance teleport, you will have to gather these resources at a separate time, thus slowing you down. The soul teleport's invincibility frames can be used for kiting, but the 20 soul limit stops this from being useful, and using Wanda's backstep watch would be objectively more efficient. This means that the Soul Teleport is objectively a useless ability and is not an upside for Wartox. Similar to the Soul Teleport, the Soul Heal is useless as well, and is just a crutch for bad players. This is because if you aren't face tanking bosses you will never need 400 HP of healing on you unless you suck at the game. Being bad at Don't Starve is common for most Wartox players, however this does not make that an upside. Contrary to common belief, the soul heal actually becomes pointless in larger groups, even though the soul heal gives more total HP in a group of 6. This is because a group of 6 will kill a boss about 6 times faster, and thus take a 6 of the damage, and at that point healing items become worthless, making the soul heal a completely pointless ability in any setting. Now that it has been established that Wartox has no upsides, it brings us to his heavy downsides. The first and most detrimental downside is that all foods, hunger, health, and sanity values are halved, meaning you will need to gather twice as much of important food items like pierogi and cooked cactus, which wastes a lot of time. The combination of less cooked cactus and souls costing 5 sanity to eat leads to most Wartox players wasting a lot of time fighting shadow creatures. And for the record, the problem here is the time it takes to kill the shadow creatures, not that they are hard to kill. Wartox also gets attacked by bunnymen and pigmen, which makes setting up important farms inconvenient and can cause problems with base locations on public servers. There is also the downside that Wartox just flat out looks stupid and is an eyesore for the server to look at. With all of this taken into account, Wartox is just a money grab used to trick new players into thinking they are playing a good character. While in reality, he is arguably worse than Wes, because he has no upsides and extremely heavy downsides. If it was up to me, he would be removed from the game entirely, and replaced with a second Willow.